three. Good day, Builder. Oh dear, a data disk. What kind of green technology? Mostly special seeds. You'll see. We can share what we have with you as you bring us more disks. Oh dear. You should ask your neighbor Emily about how to farm. Okay, great. Here, I'll take the disk and give you some seeds to get you started. So he's given us a tip to talk to Emily. He's also given us some seeds, cotton seeds in this case. And I'm, I'm going to want to start growing stuff as soon as possible. We'll see why. Now, Lee told me that I should talk to my neighbor Emily about planting. And before I can start planting, I'm going to have to do that. Emily can be difficult to locate. She leaves her farm early in the morning. And she goes for a big, long walk around Portia. And then late at night, she comes back from this kind of direction over here. So I'm just going to... Yeah, come on, 100% game speed. So I'm just going to wait for her here. I've got no stamina to spend. And I want to get started on that growing thing because the growing of things takes some days. You're out late, Emily. It's half past midnight. Aha! I know. That's the guy who's walking past my house. But there is now somebody coming out of the city in this direction. It is 1 a.m. Give or take. I think that's Emily. It is. Emily, hello. Give me your mission. Hey! See you! Okay, you have to talk to her, I think, and then you get your mission. Later. Right, so I met Emily yesterday. Uh, wait, I met Lee and then I spoke to Emily and the day after that sequence of events, you get a mission from Emily. Hi! Hi! Hey, neighbor! Do you have a minute? Sure! What? I just got a new craft recipe all the way from Highwind. It's a box that can be used to cultivate crops. Thank you! Here's the craft recipe. And here are a few seeds to plant. If you want more seeds, you can buy them from my granny's shop. Try Excellent! Now... I am going to buy some different seeds from Granny's shop. And this is where two videos kind of overlap. The um, ability to grow stuff and how to catch a mount. I am going to need lettuce to catch a mount. And I think a couple of packets should be enough. I'm also going to need some cumin. And six should be more than enough. Okay, so we've been given the recipe for this small planter box, but it doesn't appear anywhere in our work table yet. And that's because I haven't read the book. So I left-click it to select it and right-click, this is on PC, to read it. Now I've learnt the craft recipe. And there's a little new tag up here. And I can now make it. However, I need a wooden board for which I need a civil cutter and I also need some animal feces. So that's going to be the next job. If we go up to the workshop handbook which shows us all the things we can build. I'm going to use the index just to find the civil cutter quickly. Select build. And pressing E again will tell me what I need. I need two copper blades and five stone bricks. Ah. Well, copper blades... I'm going to cancel that. Copper blades come from... I think a grinder. Let me just check that. Yeah, the grinder. So I'm actually going to need a grinder first. And I so often click the one on the left because it's flashing and getting my attention in the middle of the screen. But what I actually want is over here. So what I need for that is two old parts, three copper bars and some grinding stone. I can now place them. Yay. I can pick that up and pop it down. Early space is quite crowded. And this I want to be making some wooden boards for some planter boxes. Ah, power stone. Again, only from the mines. 
I happened to have been lucky and got some, so I'm ahead of the game there. I'm just going to go ahead and ask for 10 wooden boards, which is the most it can do. I do have more wood, but it can only handle 10 at a time. Just remind myself, how many do I need? I need three per box, and I need some animal feces. So I should go and collect some of those. I am out of stamina though. So, oops, no, that's in my inventory, isn't it? So I am going to give myself some stamina. Because you need stamina to pick things up. And I am going to go and look for animal feces. I'm going to have to kind of search manually for animal feces. They give off the glowing dots like any other collectible resource and some brown hue so not the glowing dot just the brown hue so oh, that's lucky i've immediately collected four um if i had needed more basically the idea is to wander around this area another great area to check for animal feces is mcdonald's farm and also sophie's ranch so this is mcdonald's ranch and he keeps a lot of cattle. So there is frequently animal feces to be found, or almost always animal feces to be found in and around this field. I think it's random how much, but I couldn't swear to that. So that's not a very good reward for coming all the way up here, just one mound. The sheep have given me some as well. Thank you, sheep. The good thing about animal feces is they can be spotted a long way off, especially at night. At night they stick out like a sore thumb against the dark background. So I've got the animal feces, now I just need the wooden boards. I've got two. So I'm going to wait for the third one. Yay, three wooden boards. Which means I can now make one small planter box. Confirm. Thank you very much. I am going to plant lettuce. Because I want to catch myself an out. That's my habit. Put the boxes back here. Select the seed. And left mouse button to plant it. It shows you it's going to grow in four days. I can check the status anytime I want by coming back and right clicking it. I can pick up the box and move it around without disturbing the crop. E will root it out. Now Sophie actually also gave me some fertilizer. So I am going to also use the fertilizer to increase the crop that I get. That little yellow progress bar shows you how full of fertilizer the box is. That will decrease day by day and you need to remember to go back and fertilize. Otherwise it will run out. I don't think fertilization makes it grow faster, but it gives you a better crop. Okay, I've got enough wooden planks now to make... Wow, I could make up to three small planter boxes. I'm going to do that, why not? This one got back to Four days. Okay. So I'm going to plant wheat in these because I'm going to need wheat for the fish that I'm going to get at fishing day. And this is where the videos kind of intersect. So if you're hear from the fishing video then yes you should probably get some planting going and there's a whole video on how to get planting going that's how you're going to feed the fish that you catch and if you're here for the growing video then you know check out the fishing video later this wheat is ripe so i'm going to harvest it and the lettuce I need some more seed. 
it's time to go and visit Sophie. Get some more letters. Ah, no, I, I've got a letter to be going on with. Now, next time I bump into Emily, she's going to give me a mission to do with planting. Because I have now harvested some crops. So where is she? There she is. She's running away and she's marked with a star. Wow, that's an excellent result. I'm a believer now. Can I please? Which is, you know, it's a nice little job. It'll bring in some cash. In the meantime, let's check the cabbage. That is ripe. Twenty-five. Lovely. That's going to be more than enough to catch a couple of elves. And since I'm here, in the farming area, I'm just going to take a look around and see if I can find manure for planter boxes. Next time I see Emily, she's going to ask for some planter boxes, so I'm just kind of preparing them in advance. I just happen to know. Excellent. That's the six I need for three planter boxes. And then the question becomes, where's Emily? I wonder if I've got all the materials for making the planter boxes. I do, I can make all three planter boxes that Sophie's going to ask me for. Great. So I'll do that so that when I next see her, I'll be able to complete the mission. Oh, she's up there. Oh, is it Sunday? It's Sunday. People go to church, which is really handy. Because if you've got deliveries for people who are sometimes hard to get hold of, but who are churchgoers. On Sunday morning, you can just pop up to the church and completely disrupt the service just by handing out stuff to various members of the congregation. Completely disrespectful, but a useful thing. There's Emily. That's an excellent result. I'm sure you, you can. I can't wait to And that's the end of that mission and that plotline. It really is just used to introduce you to the concept of growing things. And we won't hear any more about that. It's worth discussing the other types of things that can be grown. So the church will sell you a large planter box for two data discs and they can hold trees like apple trees and cristella trees. These are trees. It is often advised that one starts to grow cristellas as soon as you can um, because they give off crystals and sapphires and you're going to need a lot of sapphires in the late game so just pop down a couple of large boxes and just start planting them apples dried apples are an incredibly good source of stamina uh, dried apple restores 10 percent of your stamina so i like to have a few apple trees on the go so that if i need stamina restored at the end of a particularly long day um i can i can just quick scoff. That will, tr will automatically fertilize any box which sits upon it, which is again really good. Saves you, ha saves you the hassle. But I don't use fertilizer much, it just increases the yield um, and it takes a lot of effort in collecting manure in the early game. These however 
you're really going to want. You're really going to want some of these. You are going to have to pay using a small silicon chip. And they are available for abandoned ruins too. Which is going to open up now that we've got um, the bridge to Amber Island done. Rainbow flowers grow in a small planter box, so we can make those ourselves. We just need the seeds. And I'll explain why you're really going to want some and get some going as soon as you can. Here is the clothing store. And they sell pigments. But pigments, market price is 91%, so that's 91, so it's got a base price of 100. Pigments cost 100 gold for one pigment. And you are going to get some fairly early game commissions which require pigments. So you're doing commissions which are going to pay you 300 gold, but you need to buy pigments, so you're instantly cutting your profits by a third. It's also useful to start getting some cotton going as well, because um, that's used for a couple of things, and it's also quite expensive, but very cheap and easy to grow. The trade-off, of course, is all the manual work you have to put in to doing the planting and the harvesting. In the mid to late game, that gets a lot easier. But for now, you're just left doing it by yourself. You may remember that I planted some wheat. And that should be ripe by now. So let's go and harvest it. I'm going to take that lettuce as well, which I'll need for catching a mount. And I'm going to plant some more wheat. Once I get the blender, I'm just waiting for the diagram from the um, research centre. Once I get the blender, I can turn that wheat into dough. And dough can be used to feed fish. I'm going to want as much of that as I can get, as much dough as I can get, before I start actually breeding fish. So I'm going to go and buy some more wheat seeds as um, a priority. Now I've got a mount, um, it will produce manure daily, which is great for planting and planter boxes. It's only like one a day, um, but it's easier than going to have to run all over the place to collect it, so that's a bonus early game. Ah, this is handy. Instead of having to go all the way up to the church, when they are preaching in town, they bring their store with them. And I want rainbow flower seeds. And I've got three of the circuits. Three of the circuits? Yes. So I want as many as I can buy. I'm also going to spend some of my data disks on some large planter boxes. I don't have much space in my yard at the moment, but it's worth it. So I'm going to get two apples and two crystals for planting. And back in the yard, I have to find somewhere for these to go. They really are rather big. I could really do with buying some more land at this point. What is my next land option? Fifteen thousand goals. Yeah, I'm a little bit away from that. And in that case, let's just do the planting here. The apples I am going to turn into dried apples. And 
in order to do that, I am going to need a drying rack, which I think my level 2 work table will let me create. I just can't remember. There it is, drying rack. So I need six bronze pipes. So I need one more. But I like to keep a nice supply of bronze pipes on hand, so I'll plug it in to do six. It's going to be a while before these are ready. That's going to take 14 days for the first harvest, and then subsequent harvests happen faster. The Christella tree, I'm just getting ahead of the game with that. I'm just going to harvest it whenever it needs harvesting and save whatever comes out of it because it, gets mat it gives materials of which you need quite a lot in the late game. Now, as for these flower, these um, colourful seeds, I am going, I can only do one box, I'm going to create a box and I'm going to plant some of the colourful seeds as well. Gosh, my yard is full, isn't it? Full and crowded. Now, I remember saying that you don't need nitre until late game when I was looking at the um, things the church sell, but if we're making pigments, we need nitre. And the game itself gives you a bit of a spoiler there by mentioning a quarry, which we don't get until late game. Um, we're going to have to grow some. So I'm going to have to go back to the church and buy a new large planter box and some nitra. Which means, looking at my little emphasis on little holding at the moment, I'm going to need some more land. Hmm. Because I don't see anywhere a big planter box can go at the moment. I mean, I could rip something out, but that seems a bit of a waste. I could possibly fit one in there. Okay, um, so we'll see. So I'm just happening to pass through town, and I am going to get myself one large planter box and some nitra. So that I can go back to my little housey-wousey. And start this off for the, and yes, I do have space, excellent. It's getting really cramped in here. But that's going to be ready in a couple of weeks. So I'll just keep an eye on that. I think my wheat is ready. Yes, it is. So we know the score. Grab some seeds. And go and plant some more wheat. Actually, I think I will plant some extra coloured seeds. Although, I can now afford to extend my yard, because I've done a couple of commerce commissions and sold a bunch of sand. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to extend my yard and maybe put down another couple of planter boxes. I can craft four, so I'll do that. I've got 89 wheat seeds left. So I'm not going to run short of those. saving up and I'll do another couple of the colored plants rainbow flowers excellent so 
the wheat is going to help me with the fish the colored flowers are going to help me to get pigments cheaply excellent right well i embiggened my yard and now i can make it a little less cramped these big planter boxes you only need to access if you're doing something like adding fertilizer which i usually don't bother with or changing the crop or harvesting the crop so instead of having to jump over them all day every day i'm just going to put them in a nice little orderly fashion over here same with the small planters they can just carry on from here um, be careful not to press E or you'll root out the plant rather than just moving the box and don't put it into your inventory either I think that might do the same thing Okay, well that looks like a much cleaner yard, a lot more spacious. I am going to leave the nitra tree here because I want to see when that's ready. I don't want to have delay in harvesting that. In fact, I might get another one. Aha, another crop of wheat is ready. I think I've actually got enough wheat for now. I'm going to focus on the pretty flowers. I can see one of them's ripe there. I was waiting to harvest it so that I would harvest all of them in sync, but now I've gone and planted a bunch more, I think I'll just harvest it. And then what I'll do is the ones that have got four days left, I can harvest, I can harvest them and then wait to replant when I pick everything up because it's just easier. If one's ready, everything's ready. You go through and you do it all. In, in one go and it's much easier than having to check every day and replace one or two how are we doing here five days left for apples six days for crystals and five and six and how are we doing with the nitre ten days for the nitre tree so ten days before I can start to actually make use of these lovely flowers do you know what I'm gonna spend some of my data discs because I've got a lot of them I've been doing a lot of leveling up by just mining I'm going to buy some more nitra because I can't remember how much you get and I want to make sure I've got enough I'm actually going to put it down here with these ones and at some point I'll get in sync like this one will be ripe and I won't harvest it and then I'll harvest them both together so then this one will become my signal that I need to uh, harvest the other one it's it's there to be a signal essentially so my crops are finally done they might have been done for a while actually I haven't been paying attention Lots of lovely rainbow flowers. And although you only plant one seed, you get many more flowers back. I've got 142, which is likely enough to last me the whole game. I'll plant the rest of these seeds though and use them up. Clear up some space in my inventory and in storage. 
the rest I am going to do wheat so I can make dough because I'm starting to breed fish. See my breeding fish video for that when it is ready. Right, so is my niter tree ready? Not quite, it'll be ready in a couple of hours, so I'll come back in a couple of hours for that. Okay, this is annoying. You may remember that I checked the nitra tree to see how long it had to go before it bore fruit, and the answer was two hours. And I've not harvested it, and now it's saying eight days. Maybe if I get a new seed and plant it as a last resort. I'm going to double check that. Zero days, four hours. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven thirty-nine ish. I should be getting a harvest of nitre. And it's, it's got a little icon, like a little apple, but it has just, it has just rolled over again. What are my other trees doing? I do have a second nitro tree. Three days for apple, four days for crystals, three days for... And it's broken. Ah, oh, we've got nitre. The last Civil Corps commission has been completed. Excellent. Which means I can now kick off some more dough. Some flour in that one. Do we have enough for dough? We don't. We need more flour, so I'll just get some flour going. Ooh, 10,000 goals to be had from the fish tank. See the fishing video for that. But what's more important is that these apples are about to be ripened in about an hour. I am going to want a drying rack. Or two. In fact, I've already made one in preparation, but I'm going to make another one. Drying rack. Yes, please. And let's shift that in my inventory down to there. Where shall I put the drying racks? Along this wall so I can see when they're complete. Why not? And I'll just line them up like this. you can see I've already had some apples I think they came in my little inventory bar down below I think they came from the wood farm actually and there's some more apples two aroma apples 20 normal apples oh that looks that must have been a double drop 62 apples now the stats on apples aren't great. Restores five stamina uh, compared to seven percent of max stamina and sixty stamina 
and there are other meals, but dried apple slice restores 10% of max stamina. So 10 of those will restore 100% of your stamina. Now, right now, at this point in the game, day 18 of season three, I'm not really struggling for stamina. I've stopped having to chop wood. I'm still having to mine, but I can mine for so long and get so much ore that I'm really never short of anything. The big stamina drain is going to be combat, and combat is about to be starting. So I want to lay down some stamina to prepare because stamina is hugely important in combat. You can lose all your hit points and get sent back to the start of the level, but your stamina doesn't regenerate. And it's the worst thing in the world to be near the end of a level, fighting a boss, and you run out of stamina just before he dies, and that's it. You're gonna have to replay the whole level. So, craft, we have two options. Dried apple slice times 10 takes an apple. Let's kick 10 slices off, please. It takes ages, eight days, eight hours. So that's why I'm starting now before I need it. I want to build up a very good stock of these. The other option is dried apple slice times five times 10. And that takes an aroma apple. Let's pop one of those off as well. And that's gonna take 16 days, that's gonna take eight days. But as you can see, I'm getting 10 dried apple slices here from my normal apple. And then twice the time, I'm getting five times the amount from the aroma apple. Now, aroma apples don't drop every time from the trees, but I've got two apple trees and they're both going to be ready again in seven days. So the odds are that in 16 days, I'm going to have more of both type. And as the game progresses, I'll generally set up more apple trees and more dryers just so I have a constant supply. And you're going to get some from the tree farm as well. I haven't emptied this in quite a while. Oh no, I have. So the tree farm have sent me six aroma apples. So I could kick off some more aroma apples there. Let's go and sleep. Right. The first batch is completed. I've got 10 apple slices from those 10 apples. I haven't emptied my resources while I've been waiting for this. So let's just see what I get. Aroma apple plus six. No normal apples. Okay. And from the tree harvest. Aroma apple plus two. And plus four. So I'm getting many more aroma apples than I would be able to use. And I've now got a complete 100% stamina replacement if I need it. In fact, I've got 200% because I've had I've got 10 from before. And I've got 161 apples and they're going to keep coming from those trees. So, I usually just use the aroma apples if I can. And a few more trees would be perfect. The other thing you can do with apples is feed them to your horse. So it's not wasted. The apples aren't wasted. They can go towards the horse feed and the llama feed. Well, you continue to just make the dried apple slices. And in seven days, I'm going to have 50, which is enough to restore my stamina five times over. You can harvest early, so I can take that 26 out now. And basically, if I was going into a dungeon at this point, then I am all set for a couple of dungeon runs. A couple of days later, and my crystallarium trees are ready. Ooh, I've got a ruby. That's a rare drop. Not useful for much. I think it makes a decent gift. I was hoping for sapphires. I need to start hoarding sapphires. But 
a ruby is fine. Right, after all that palaver, we have nitra. Decent amount as well. 30 from one harvest. Might have been a double drop, I think I've got that bonus. So, we can now make our own pigments. One nitre and one rainbow flower. So, quite cheap to make. Speaking of which, I've got some more harvesting of rainbow flowers to do. So, as you can see, uh, as you saw there, I've got quite an abundance of rainbow flowers at the moment. Two hundred and eight. But since the nitra is now going to be coming regularly, next harvest in seven days, and I've got a second tree which will start harvesting in six days. The good news is that I can now start making a lot of pigments. And in fact, the first one is already there. Now, it's not really worth selling it because I'll show you what the price is like when you try to sell. So 97% market price, so we're pretty much near the maximum. And we can sell it for 24, which is a quarter of the price that it costs to buy. So it's not really worth selling it, but it is worth having a lot because now we've got the nitro tree running. The only expense is going to be buying more rainbow seeds. And I don't have to do that until I've run out of pigments and I've got about 200 in stock. Or I will have 200 in stock when I have converted all those rainbow flowers into pigments. And we are going to start now seeing commerce commissions which require pigments. So when you're asked to do like, I think it's a satchel or something, you save 100 per time. And we are going to be getting small silicon chips all the time from our mining. So from now on, pigments are free, essentially. Yay! That's basically it for growing in the early game. We are on day 26 of season 2. I'm independent for pigments. I'm independent for dough. I'm getting apples, which will help me with stamina. I'm going to want to. Ex I'm going to want to expand that. And it's a matter of, it's a matter of choice. I mean, the trade-off is having to do manual stuff at this stage in the game. I'm going to have to harvest everything and replant everything. So I tend to wait until the late game. Uh, no spoilers. I shall do a separate video on how planting works in the late game and why it's so much nicer. But I'll make that into a separate video.